In this video, we're going to be looking at simple inequalities, and inequalities are similar in many ways to equations. Some simple inequality problems with whole number solutions may be solved just by inspecting them, but you'll need to use other methods when dealing with the harder examples. So that's our quick overview. Let's have a look at some symbols that you need to be very aware of. So first of all, this crocodile mouth means less than. The same symbol with a line underneath means less than or equal to, and it is so key that you learn these. Conversely, facing the other direction means greater than and with a line underneath means greater than or equal to. Question one, write down whole number solutions to these inequalities. So we have an x and then looking at that symbol, remember from my little summary, it means greater than five. So you need to write down a whole load of solutions of numbers which are greater than five. So for example, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, etc., all fit. In part B, we're looking for y values which are less than or equal to 6. So that would be 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, for example. And then getting more difficult with part C, we are looking for z values which are greater or equal to 3 but are less than 10. So that would be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we can't count 10 because we don't have a line underneath that less than sign. Getting slightly more difficult now, so find the whole number solutions to these inequalities. So it's a bit like solving simple equations now because we have 2x has to be greater than 5. So let's solve for x first of all. So divide 5 by 2 to get the fact that x has to be greater than 2.5 and we're looking for whole number solutions. So what must these be? Well, a number greater than 2.5, which is a whole number, is obviously 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and you could go on with that. Looking at part B, 3y is less than or equal to 6. So solve for y by dividing 6 by 3 to get 2. So y has to be smaller or equal to 2. And again, we're looking for whole numbers, so that would be 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, etc, etc. C, 3 is less than or equal to 2z, and 2z is less than 10. So to get z by itself, we need to divide both sides by 2 to get 1.5 is less than or equal to z, which is less than 10. So z must be numbers which are bigger or equal to 1.5, and they need to be whole numbers, which is why 2 counts, 3 counts, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and we have to stop there because it says from our rule that z has to be less than 10. Hope you found this video really helpful, guys. I'll be back soon with another video very shortly.